kit that's been going viral. This is basically everything. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm V and I am so excited for today's video because we are prepping to go on vacation. I am going to an all-inclusive resort in Punta Cana with my friends in exactly a week from now. It is the 29th that we leave and it's the 22nd today, so in exactly a week and we have quite a bit we need to do before we go. The last trip I went to was California basically a year ago from now because it was like April and it's April right now. and. I was packing to the up until the very last minute. I think our flight was at like four o'clock in the morning and I didn't get any sleep the night before even though I was planning to, but literally I just had so much last minute packing that I finished up until the last second. I was done packing and then we like left for the airport. It worked out honestly. Like I think I got a coffee at the, the airport or something, but I do not want to be scrambling last minute because that's how you end up forgetting things. So it's a week before my trip and I'm gonna start prepping now. Like I said, we have a quite a bit we need to do I need to get my nails done. Don't pause on that. My nails look so bad. I like always have them done, but I don't right now. So we got to change that. I also have to make a packing list that is a necessity and I love doing that step and then buy some any, whatever last minute things we need to buy and then pack. And I'm taking you guys along with me for this whole entire journey. So I'm super excited and I'm also going to be filming the trip. So don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the future videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. I am going, it's like five o'clock right now or something around that time, I'm gonna head to shoppers and get what I need to do to do my nails. So let's go do that. Okay, you guys, I'm here at Shoppers, and yes, I am doing my own nails because I literally have been going to get my nails done for like, I don't know, since like grade nine, I think, and I'm 20 now. So it's been a, it's been a while of me getting my nails done, and it's expensive. It's expensive to keep up, but I just love having my nails done. Like, I feel so bare without them done. But I decided I want to start trying to do my own nails to save money, and there's been this kit that's been going viral on Amazon that I bought so I can do my own nails. It's the Beatles kit, and I did the once by myself I'll put the pictures in doesn't look terrible okay it could look better it doesn't look terrible but I'm gonna do it again for this trip so I'm gonna do attempt to do French tip nails because that's my favorite to do I think I might be way in over my head because I don't have like the thin applicator for like nail polish to do the tip so I'm just gonna use acetone and like try to fix it up I don't know I watched a bunch of tutorials so we're gonna attempt it and I decided to do this a week in advance because then if it doesn't turn out well I can always just book an appointment and get my nails done so I'm here at shoppers because I want to buy a few things like I need nail polish remover because I'm out of that or just acetone and what else did I need oh I need face wash because you guys I literally ran out of face wash before moving into school for winter semester never ended up buying one so I've been washing my face with water for four months so we need face wash because my skin has never felt worse like it doesn't look terrible but it's just like the texture has been so bad so I need to get face wash and I just use like basic face wash like I don't really have a go-to yet, but we need to get that. Oh, yeah We also need makeup remover wipes. So that is it for now I know that there's gonna be a lot more things that I need before the trip um, But I'll just do that shopping trip later like closer to the trip So that's all for now if I forget something then I'll add it to the list But those are the main things we need so let's go get them <music> Hello you guys, it is the next day and I'm finally ready to do these nails. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared that this isn't gonna turn out well. But you know what, we gotta try. We just gotta go for it and at least I know if it doesn't go well, I can always do it again. So let me show you the setup. Okay, so I'm doing this at my desk. I just moved my plants and stuff up there for now so I have more room, but coffee, necessity. And then this is everything I'm going to need for my nails. I have the Beatles kit that I told you guys was the one trending on Amazon. It's not in the almond shape, even though I want 
almond nails, but I'm going to file them into an almond shape myself. Then I have the Modelones, I don't know how to pronounce this, Modelones base coat and top coat. Nail clipper that just fell down. Nail polish remover, pads for that. My base color, the white for the French tip. I have a UV lamp here. This is like the big one, but this pack also comes with like a small one to cure the nails. So I'll just be using both and then nail prep pads here. So this is what we're starting off with. I have the nail polish remover because I have leftover glue on my nails because I recently just had my nails done and I pried them off so the glue didn't fully dissolve off. I didn't take them off properly because I was just rushing to get them off. So that's why I need the nail polish remover. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, remove the nail polish and then file down my nails and get them prepped to go. And we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, I'm probably gonna watch YouTube in the background while I do my nails because that's what I like to do. And we'll get through my watch later list actually. Okay. I'm totally gonna be watching vacation vlogs right now just to get me excited for the trip. I'm already excited, but to get me even more excited for the trip. So that's what I'm gonna watch. And we're gonna do my nails and pray to God that it's that it turns out well. Okay, nails are prepped and ready to go. And now I'm just gonna choose the size tips that I want for my nails and apply them. One eternity later. guys it is friday the day before i leave my trip it literally hasn't sunk in yet that i'm leaving tomorrow but i'm so excited and i'm gonna pack it's time to pack it's like six o'clock 6 p.m and we're gonna start off by making a packing list it's that that's like a must for me i cannot pack without a packing list just to like make sure that I pack everything I could possibly need for this trip. So what I like to do is I like to go through Pinterest and look at different packing lists and from there make my own packing list and I'll look through a bunch of different packing lists so I make sure that I'm covering a lot of bases and getting things that other lists may miss or things like that and then when I have what feels like a concrete list down I'll then think of like every single day that I'm gonna be on this trip or like you know like airport first day going on excursions things like that and I'll think okay what would I need here what would I need here and think of things and jot it down. I find that like I, I, I'm meticulous with my packing list because I feel like it's the worst to forget something that you need for your trip. So I'm gonna make sure I get everything down that I need. Probably gonna like watch some YouTube while I do this. And then we're gonna get into packing. I'm, I have a load of laundry downstairs that I'm doing so it'll be good timing. It'll be done by the time I'm done this packing list and then I can start packing. And our flight is tomorrow at four o'clock, so it's later in the day. So technically I do have a little bit of time tomorrow, but I don't wanna leave anything for tomorrow or else I, I know myself and I know I will push things to the last minute. So I'm trying to get everything done tonight. So that being said, let's get straight into doing this packing list. <music> So I'm done my packing list. This is basically everything that I got on it so far. And it's pretty comprehensive, but if I'm missing anything, then I will add it as I remember it. But yeah, I'm gonna get started with packing this stuff up. I'm also gonna try on some clothes as I go to see if they're cute before packing them up. So I know this looks super chaotic and messy, but this is basically what we're dealing with right now. I have my bathing suit cover-ups in this pile, so I've got a bunch of cover-ups and like pants and like cover-up shirts and stuff like that. The bathing suits that I'm going to bring, I'm bringing nine bathing suits, so that's like one for every day. Don't know for, for exactly if I'm going to be wearing one every single day. Well, I probably am, but like I don't know if I'm going to be doing like, oh, not like repeating some, but for now, that's the plan. So I'm bringing these nine bathing suits. These are all my shirts. It looks so bad, but the thing is like I don't want to fold them just to like refold them in my suitcase because I don't fold them in my suitcase. I roll them to have more space. So there was no point of like organizing this pile just to like refold it. So that's a whole pile of a bunch of shirts that I'm bringing. It'll be easier to see when I roll them up what shirts I'm bringing, but I'm really, really excited with all of them. Might be too many. If there's not enough room, some of them will be cut and have to go, but 
for now. And then here I have the shorts and pants that I'm going to bring. I have some jeans, some shorts, bras and underwears. And then I have um, a dress and two rompers there and two belts. And then I also have my laundry, which I'm doing right now. So more clothes are going to be added to this pile. But I'm going to pack what I have so far. And then when I have my laundry, I can just add that stuff in. And at the end of the day, I'll, I'll still check off my packing list to make sure that I'm packing everything I need. But this is what I have so far. So now I'm going to try on some of the stuff in here that I'm not entirely sure if I want to bring and then we might narrow this pile a little bit more. Okay, so this is one of the shirts I've had for forever, but I've never worn it anywhere because I don't know. To me, it just seems super like piratey, like a pirate shirt, but I just asked Serena's opinion and she's very honest and I trust her opinion. She says she thinks this is cute, so I think I'm going to bring this. I also have it in red. I'm going to try that on, but the more I look at it, the more I'm like, this actually seems really good for Punta Cana, so I think I'm going to bring this. And I'm going to try on the red shirt, show you guys, and we'll see if I'll bring that one too. We'll see. Okay, um, this is the red one. I really do not know how I feel about this. I feel like it's a kind of shirt where here it just looks like a lot, but when I'm in Punta Cana, it'll look way more natural, you know? Because right now I'm like, what the heck? I don't know, this looks like I'm about to like salsa or like tango or whatever it is, but I think I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it. And if it's, if I don't want to wear it, I, won't, I don't wear it. So yeah, I actually like it. Yeah, I think I do like it. I'm just, the reason that I'm like skeptic is I'm not used to wearing things that are this like not basic. Like I feel like I wear just such basic clothes that anything that's not is like, I'm not used to it on me, but I really want to expand my wardrobe. I don't know. So I think I am going to bring this. Ooh, you guys, I found this in my closet. I literally forgot I have th had this. And I'm so happy because any outfit where it's just like one piece, only one thing you have to put on is really nice. So this will be very fun to wear. I don't even have to wear a bra with it. It's like kind of padded up here. And even though it's short at the front, it's long at the back. So big fan of this. Okay, so these are some cover-up pants that I got from Shein. And I think they're really cute. The waistband's a little loose, but it's pretty like high up, which is really, really nice. I don't mind how messy my room is. It's already getting so messy, but it like it goes to the perfect length, but like just above my ankle. And I feel like this will be really, really nice on days where I want to like cover up like walking to somewhere because sometimes I feel so exposed in just a bikini. So I really like these pants. Okay, I also got this top, which I think is really cute. I don't think I'd wear these together just because they're two different shades of white, but I really do like the tops. They have like these like bell bottom sleeves, and I think this is just really cute as a beach cover up. Guys, now that I'm looking at my suitcase, I'm really wondering if I'm actually gonna fit everything in here, but like I've done it for literally every trip that I've been on in the past two years. Like, Hawaii, Cuba, California, and like, I don't know how I did it, but yeah, I don't know. It just looks so small every time I open it, but we're gonna see if it works. Okay, update. Um, I think this actually will work out. I, these are all of my shirts and like dress, rompers, pants, pajamas, everything, and there's still so much room. Like, you might not be able to see, but like this way going up, there's a lot of room, and this layer going up, there's a lot of room. So all I need to do, pack, is my swimsuits, my underwear, bra, belts, swimsuit cover-ups, and then some of the few clothes that I have left from the laundry. I already brought some of my laundry back, but there's still some that I need to get. So honestly, I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. For packing my swimsuits and stuff, I love using like leftover sheen bags that I have. I just keep them because I like packing like them in bags and like my underwear bras like group them up together in the separate bags and then I bring a couple extra because sometimes you want to put your wet bathing suits separately at some point during your trip so yeah highly recommend saving these if you ever have them and I'm gonna start packing this up okay we're about to leave and these are the books I'm gonna bring the great Gatsby and book lovers I'm literally like last minute packing everything up but we're almost ready. Okay, we are about to go to the airport, so I'm gonna end up this vlog here and go on my trip, and I will start the next vlog. See you guys in the next one, bye.